Hi and welcome back everybody. Um, Eric Bynum here to talk about the Scopes trial. I chose this for our discussion simply because this is something that comes up during my U.S. history classes and I wanted to learn a little bit more about it. So kind of giving some background on, on the, the trial here. Uh, Scopes was a teacher in a small town in Tennessee. And they had just passed a sort of an anti-evolution bill for teachers. Now, one thing that I want to make certain to make clear here, because I didn't really understand this, that Scopes actually believed in evolution. He just did not believe that man came from a monkey. And I want to quote here from an article, a newspaper article that I found in from 1925 in the New York Times. And Scopes says, and I quote, No person could teach even the most elementary courses in biology without recognition of the evidences of man's evolution, end quote. So there he's even, you know, saying that evolution exists. He just doesn't believe that they came, that, that man came from a monkey. Um, he actually didn't even teach biology. He made no attempt to teach evolution as a fact or a theory. It just came up in conversation. All the while that this was going on in Tennessee, uh, I found another interesting article from the Baltimore Sun where a school district in Kansas was burning books with evolution in them. So they had voted, the, the, the school board had voted 14 to 5 to burn these textbooks. And it was said that it was done by about half of the district that they said made up a sort of a sect that was described as more rigid than the Quakers. Interesting. So this was this was a national thing, and it you know the, the trial immediately caught the attention of the national press, mainly because those in Dayton, as soon as Scopes was arrested, they went to the newspapers. Um, now, the trial was sort of set up, and I say that because the ACLU was actually putting ads in the newspapers, you know, trying to find a teacher to contest this new law. Uh, and apparently the story is, you know, from a, a group in Dayton at a drugstore, they found Scopes, who was a brand new teacher, I believe he was 24 at the time, uh, just out of the University of Kentucky, and he agreed to uh, essentially be the one put on trial for this. Um, he was a believer in, in absolute freedom of discussion in the classroom. And I found that really interesting because one of the things that I try to bring to my classroom is discussion. Uh, opening up those points of view from different students and allowing them to express themselves. You know, once he was arrested, the newspapers were notified and for the day that, that news went viral and it really became a circus. So, you know, you have these high profile lawyers on each side. You have Clarence Darrow of Chicago, you know, with the help from the ACLU, uh, defending Scopes. And then you have William Jennings Bryan, the three-time Democratic or nominee for president, uh, prosecuting the case. So this really became a, a national news story for the time. Another thing that I found really interesting is it took them eight minutes of deliberation to return the guilty verdict. You know, these were, these were people that were dead set on, you know, the, the story of Genesis. Um, and another interesting fact that I found out about all of this is that, that Scopes actually quit teaching and left Tennessee immediately after the conviction, uh, which I find really interesting because, you know, he kind of set the stage for what is taught in schools today because that, that is the only thing that is taught is evolution. Um, there is no mention of the Bible and it kind of starts the precedent of that separation of church and state, which I find very interesting. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Hope everybody has a great one, uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.